okay so uh, today we are going to see how to create a website how to create a free website and uh, you know how to implement the seo tags uh, in our website okay so how to do that so how we can how we are going to create a new website so right now we are going to create a new website with the help of zero web host com okay so this is a free website this is this can be used for the testing purpose for the development purpose and it provides all the basic elements but it will be a little bit slow but still uh, we can able to create a complete website with the logo okay for the development purpose okay all right so we are going to create a website with the help of this triple zero web host and we are going to uh, connect a free domain if it is possible otherwise we, we can use a subdomain which is available with the triple zero web host.com okay all right so right now uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So Lavanya, you can't able to view my screen till now, right? I'm just hearing your voice. Okay, all right, Lavanya, not an issue. Okay, not a problem. You can hear my voice as of right now. You will be providing the provided the video material of what is happening for today, and uh, you can use it for today. And we will find out some options. Okay, we will be having some sessions on uh, Sunday, and uh, you can participate those sessions as well parallelly. So if you want to, uh, you know, hack, uh, take on carry on with the today's project you know today's topic it's not going to be a big it's, it's just a you know a basic elements about how to create a website and all those things all right okay so uh, right now i'm going to explore i'm going to explore the triple zero web host.com i'm going to share you the same website name to you all okay so uh, i'm in the website triple zero web host.com so in this website you can able to see it's a free web hosting okay hope you can understand so when we are going to create a website we require two things so one is domain and the next one is hosting okay okay all right so domain is something like you know it's an address it's an address for a home something like that for an example if we have a website www.google.com if this is a this is a website okay so the name that is www.google.com uh, will be you know available in the domain okay so that is what it is called as domain the name is called as domain and this particular domain will be hosted on an ip address okay so ip address hope you might all know each and every device whichever is connected on this internet will be having an ip address okay there are two types of ip address one is you know a static ip address and the other one is dynamic ip address in this uh, internet world so uh, whatever the uh, system it, it has been connected like a server or cloud server cloud client everything will be provided with an ip address and that ip address if it is provided for one and the other one other IP, same ip will not be provided for any other uh devices which has been used in that particular network okay so that is what we called as uh static ip okay and what is this dynamic ip so dynamic ip in the sense you know uh something like uh if we have a local network suppose for an example in our office or in our home we have multiple devices and those multiple devices has been connected to a wi-fi router multiple devices has been connected to a wi-fi router and this wi-fi wi-fi router has been connected to the internet so in this case, what will happen? So the IP addresses which has been used uh, for the laptop, for the mobile phone, or for, might be for the tablet, you know, these IP address have, will be following in uh, following a rule in such a way that same IP of a device should not be used uh, by the other device only in this particular network. So that means only in the home network. Okay. So this rule will not be applicable for the global rule for the global computers, right? So similarly, for an example. Uh, uh let us assume that there are in a particular location there are some hundred home which are connected to the isp internet service provider okay so uh, that isp has been uh, has provided dynamic ip for each and every person who is accessing the internet usually all the mobile phones which has been connected with the direct gprs or might be you know the 4g internet so all the devices will be connected through the dynamic ip okay so what is the advantage of the dynamic ip is so once our session has been completed the ip will be used for the other device 
okay so uh, by this way you know we don't require to uh, allocate a lot of ip address like how we allocate the mobile number for each and every device so we don't require to allocate a lot of ip address for uh, multiple devices so whenever a device has been connected a temporary ip address will be provided and once the device has been disconnected from the internet the ip will be used for the other device so this setup is called as the dynamic ip so suppose if by this way, if we have some 10 IP address and because we are using a shared internet line, so when one person is online, the other person will not be there online. Okay. So by this way, you know, the same 10 IP can be used for 20 members. Okay. All right. So this is what we call as dynamic IP. And when we are going to have a hosting, when we are going to have a uh, hosting in uh, in the internet web, okay, in the online environment, uh, we definitely require a static IP. So why I'm saying this is, you know, uh, because uh, as I had already told you, www.com is just an address. It is just an address. Whenever someone enters this www.google.com, they will be redirected to the, uh, you know, to the files which are located in a computer, which is located in a system. Okay. So all the websites, whichever is available online, those are just, you know, files. Those are just files which are available on the uh, which are available on a particular server system on a particular computer system you can consider something like you know a web server a web server can be something like a bigger computer a bigger computer with higher specifications which will be having a higher processing speed and a higher capacity of ram and a higher capacity of the hard disk okay all right so if we want to create a website we require two things one is we require to create a domain name that is address Second one is hosting. So hosting is the place where we will be saving our files. Suppose uh, for an example, if we had created a five page website. So each and every page will be a single file, will be a single HTML file. So these files will be saved on a server and this particular uh, location is called as hosting, okay, hosting. And uh, usually in all the online web, we have to pay for hosting. Uh, if we are running some, you know, a business, uh, purpose website and right now we are going to see one of the hosting company which is offering the same hosting at free of cost and uh, for that they will be using some label and this is only for the development purpose so that means what we can use it of course uh, for our experiment purpose and we can use it uh, we can have a trial and if we are going for so if we require some higher speed and if we require some better service better uptime then we have to go for the purchase scheme okay all right so uh, right now i uh, hope you understood that hosting is the place where we will be having our website where we will be having our actual website so when the hosting has been disabled or when there is some hosting problem is there then your website will not open so it will show an error called 404 error so that means the other the website cannot be found website cannot be found so this will happen if there is some error in the hosting account if, if our account had got expired or if there is some error in the account so at that time you'll be having a uh, you know error regarding the hosting account all right so right now we are going to see the uh, right now we are going to see how to create a website how to create a free website and quickly without using any much of the coding knowledge just by using a drag and drop options which are available for creating a template okay for that what we have to do we have to go for this website that is triple zero webhost.com and right now since i already have an account i'm going to directly log in login into this account and if you do not have an account with triple zero webhost.com you can create a uh, account with this triple zero website triple zero webhost.com and uh, you'll be having some options like get started just click get started and uh, you can uh, uh, create an account with 00webhost.com. Okay, so right now let me to log into the sign in, sign in option. All right, so here I already have some of the options like login with Google, Facebook, and login with uh, hosting here. Right now, since I already have an account, I'm going to use the username and password, and I'm going to log in. Uh, log in. I'm going to log in now. Login is you linked to a Google. Okay, not a problem. So let me to log in with the Google account.
just a minute. Well, uh, what is the actual problem? There is some uh, Google account sign up problem. Okay, so let me to check out with something else. Let me to use uh, Beam Academy India. Okay. No username is working fine. Login with Facebook. All right. Okay, I have, I'm having some issues with this uh, Google login. So let me to do one thing. Uh, I'm going to create a new account. Okay, I'm going for the sign up option. So for the sign up, I'm going to use an email ID, which is going to be tanigai at visualmarketingconsultant.online. So password, use an email address from a reputable email provider, like Gmail or Outlook. Oh, is it so? So is it not a good website? Well, uh, Okay, I'm having some issues with this login. Okay, so not a problem. Let us do one thing. Uh, we will go for something more. Okay, we will go for some other website where we can able to explore something more. So let me do search for free website. There are a lot of websites which are available for free. Okay, so what we have here is the free host here. I'm sorry. Can we create a website through WordPress? Uh, WordPress, yes, there are two options for creating a website through WordPress. One is, you know, we can uh, completely install the WordPress uh, CRM into the hosting that we have. That is one option. Otherwise, there is one more option. The one more option is, you know, we can directly log into WordPress.com and there we can able to uh, create a WordPress website. Okay. The problem is, you know, when we are going for a WordPress website, uh, we may not able to use the plugins like Yoast SEO or any plugins we can't able to use uh, unless we, 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 we take up the premium account. Okay. So that will be, you know, a bit of complex if we are creating a, a WordPress website for the purpose of SEO. Okay. Hope you understood what I'm trying to say. You know, WordPress, we can create a website. That's not a problem. Creating a website is not a problem. But once after creation of this website, we can't able to install the plugins such as Yoast SEO, or we can't able to use some SEO tags inside that particular WordPress website. So right now, you know, uh, we are uh, not about to touch the WordPress website, but we are going to 
create some create some websites with the already existing website template so for the purpose of you know learning seo tags like title meta description so what are the changes that we are going to make so those uh, changes we are going to implement in this particular website okay so right now i'm in a website and right now i'm going to create a website for free sign up now for free okay it has it is asking for a lot of things i think product chocolate free get a domain name i'm going to create it is an optional new domain is not required so let me to continue with the option search for a domain in the form okay so it is taking a, a a bit of time so let us do one thing let us go for the wordpress.com okay so right now i'm in the place of wordpress so wordpress is a place where we can able to create a awesome website awesome website that uh, you know uh, without any without much of having the coding knowledge okay so there is a plus of the wordpress and wordpress will help us you know it's a kind of default se optimized pages whatever that we create from the wordpress but this default se optimizations are not the complete it is going to be making only the basic elements like making the website uh, text to core ratio as minimal as, as possible and by using the same text for head h1 tag and uh, deploying the h2 tags automatically but usually you know this is not going to be the complete and this will not help us you know to completely optimize uh, the seo purpose you know uh, while uh, in, if we want to optimize a website for the purpose of seo we want to know which keyword we have to deploy in title which keyword we want to deploy in uh, tags and etc right all right so we will be seeing all those th all those de all those things in detail with this wordpress document right now uh, right now since i already have a website i can able to view some of the websites in this my site option if not you might require to create a new website okay all right so uh, right now in this site option in the pages i'm going to create a new page okay so in this option uh, there is an option called add new page please click this add new page option and please select the project that you are going to add the new page to all right so uh before i'm going to create a new page for my website so i have to choose some of the templates whichever is available in the left hand side panel i have few of the uh, good uh, you know site templates whichever is available here so i'm going to choose one of the template which is available from here so let me to choose the option uh, which is available at the third template so because you know it looks much easier for me to edit and uh, some of the images looks uh, you know uh, some uh, something like you know uh, which looks much opt for the thing that we are going to do it right now so i had chosen the third option right now so this uh template name is about i think about layout all right so let me to use this particular template i'm going to click this use about layout done So in order to edit this particular uh, website, so what are the default things that I can able to change it in order to make this particular website, you know, a quick and complete things are, uh, one thing is, you know, I can make the changes of whatever the title that is uh, that is available. So right now here, uh, I have something like 
uh, about is available. So instead, I'm going to write something for such internal. Uh, you know, personality based website might not be required. Let us go for the company based website. Let, uh, let us create some website for the organization, for the company that we are going to, for the business that we are going to do. Always something you know, the passion that we are, a passion that we uh, that uh, derives us. For an example, how shall we create? Shall we let us create something like you know, uh, people who are looking for some cricket and if they want to look for some interesting objectives so let us create some website for a cricket okay all right uh cricket i'm going to create something like cricket fans okay so this is the title that i had given for this particular page i'm going to create a page for the cricket fans and i'm going to update some of the things whichever is you know feels interesting for the cricket fans okay so here uh, i think this template is somewhat most likely to be created for a personal website anyway not a problem we will use the same website for the purpose of uh, uh, the objective to be uh, you know object for uh, for us to complete this objective so here i'm going to write in uh, you know something like you know um, recent ticket updates all right done so in this add your job title i will add something else i let me to use the uh, let me use some uh, some kind of you know a small caption that will help uh, most of the members to get engaged so what i can able to add uh, so i can able to uh, add something like you know get recent updates on the sport that's fine because cricket had used a lot of places all right so instead of this contact me so this contact me is not required To delete this block done all right i had to remove this block so right now i'm going to write here a description something like you know uh hi there uh welcome or purity on uh cricket info and uh the, 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 the latest updates and i mean uh, that, that that's good enough, good enough. Uh, welcome to our community on cricket info and latest cricket updates and uh, we can uh, say something like you know uh uh something like you know uh you are welcome with for your comments you are welcome for your comments uh for the updates that are i mean uh that are available on this side all right i think this will be this will be good enough for the you know purpose of uh, understanding and learning all right so right now i'm going to add something more so what i'm what i'm going to uh, create you know i'm going to create something about uh, sachin indulkar updates all right then so then the next one i'm going to give is uh doni updates and uh, the next one is that fully updates and uh, what else do we have? Well, let us have the word called Harpachan. Updates and uh, that this is this is good enough for us right now. Okay, let me do with this particular block which is not required. All right. So what else do I have? So I, right now I have some of the options for Facebook, Twitter, and by as a by default template options. So I had chosen this Facebook option, and at the top I'll be having the option to edit this particular blog. So by which you know I can able to add the Facebook name and the link that I can able to use it for. Let me to create uh, click this tool, and uh, I think most possibly we are already there in the edit option. Let me to write it as um, uh, the name of the website is going to be uh, 
or tech info okay i can't able to edit anything so i think only one option will be available and that might be the links i believe social icon spacer show block settings okay so here i have the social facebook label that if i give something here it will be available there i'm going to provide it as click so score info all right so let me give the label as click uh, click info and in this uh document i'm going to give the name i mean the link for this particular facebook okay i think this is regarding the page settings so whatever that uh, updates that i'm going to give it is going to be on the page settings so let me to write it hi uh hi Hello. yes i had received your message yes please tell me yeah i'm not able to attend your thing that means most of the time it is coming at error just the link okay okay i don't know what to do now okay not a problem we shall speak might be you know today you can have the video material and we shall speak on uh, what to do uh, by tomorrow we shall have a start. i mean uh, after the session we will we shall have a discussion okay. how late yeah thank you Okay, yes, sir. I understood. Uh, Not yes, a problem. We shall have a discussion on this after this session is completed. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Sure, bye. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, 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 Samir, just now I had got got back to you. So uh, my voice is cracking. Is it still uh, not what not audible? No, your voice is I'm, not Okay, okay, not for uh, not for Lavanya. I'm asking for Samir. Okay, okay not a problem. Uh, yes, Lavanya. So for today, you know, if it is possible, just be online, and uh, if it is. Uh, you know, uh, if it is possible, you can uh, mute your screen or something. Otherwise, just if it is possible, just try to be engaged if it is possible. Okay. Otherwise, we will see tomorrow what we can do. Okay. All right. Okay, okay Lavanya. Fine then. Okay. So uh, right now I'm in the Facebook option. Uh, okay. So here, what I'm going to write uh, in this Facebook, I'm going to write the address. I don't let me to check out whether I'm sharing my screen or not. Resume your presentation. Resume presenting. Okay, right now only my screen is presenting. I don't know whether Samir could be able to see all the presentations, whatever that I had shared till now. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, fine then. So let me to uh, you know make the uh, make the make the make the updates. Uh, so right now in this Facebook icon, I'm going to create. I'm going to give the Facebook link that I'm going to uh, that I already have. Click info. Let us assume that this is the Facebook link that I have. So similarly, I can able to add for Twitter. Okay, I think I have to click the logo. This template has a lot of restrictions, I think. Info. So similarly for the Instagram. Okay, done. So, uh, you know, right now we had explored about how we can able to create something with the help of uh, making the changes in this particular WordPress template just by adding some, making some changes in the text itself. So what next, what next we can able to do? So I had created a text which has been mentioned as Sachin Tendulkar updates, right? So right now I'm going to give a link for the Sachin Tendulkar updates uh, text. So how shall I, how, am, how shall I, how am I going to do this? So first thing is what I'm going to do is, you know, for giving this link, I'm just going to explore something whichever is available online. Sachin Tendulkar updates. So the first website which says Sachin Tendulkar, Sachin Tendulkar news
I don't know why it is this this uh, whether the site has any problem or uh, anything news 18 this site might not have any problem usually am I connected Okay, anyway, I don't know. So anyway, uh, let us have a check. So right now I'm going to copy this particular link and I'm going to use it for the page that we are speaking right now. So Sachin Tendulkar updates, I'm going to give a hyperlink. So how shall I do that? So in the same above editing option block, I have an option called, which is mentioned as link. Okay, otherwise we can click control K. So we will click this particular link and we will add the link here. All right, I had added the link here and I have an option called open in new tab by enabling this particular option uh, When someone clicks this particular link, they will be redirected to a new tab So that means our tab will be existing in the same way and they will be redirected to a new tab Okay, now I'm going to give the enter option now. All right done. So right now I had given a, I had created a, a text with a hyperlink through which I had I can able to uh, redirect the audience to another uh, redirect the people to another page uh, with the help of a link option and also I can able to use the uh, uh, something like you know I can able to use uh, open a new tab option to make the people to open in the uh, make the people when they click this particular uh, hyperlink they will be open in the new tab all right that, that's great okay so uh, what are the else things which are highly important for while we are going to create a uh, miniature version of website that we are going to create using the wordpress so you know wordpress there are a lot of options which are available a lot of blogs were available so you can explore all those elements and you know basically what you have to learn is one is you can able to add text in this wordpress document second thing is you can upload images third thing is you can upload youtube videos similarly you can upload your any video from your hard disk and you can able to show it in the website and similarly, you know, uh, you can make the alignment and you can make some changes in the background color and etc, etc. So right now we are going to see the much essentials for the SEO part. For the SEO, right now we had seen about how to give a hyperlink using a Word, uh, WordPress document. And right now we are going to see, so there is an image already exists there. So let us replace this image and let us give the tags which are associated with the image for the purpose of SEO. So uh, whichever the uh, icons which has been labeled as add block, so those are used for creating an additional block. That means additional layer where we can add anything like a text, like an image, like a YouTube video, or like if it is a form that we want to add. So all those options will be available. So right now, in order to create an additional uh, additional layer, what I'm going to do is right now, you know, okay, right now expand this uh, fan, uh, cricket fans page. Let me to create something under the name of cricket fans page. And uh, let me to make this complete with the help of changing this particular image. So I had choose, I had clicked this particular image. After selecting this image, all this uh, image options will be available in the right hand side. Okay. So right now I'm going to reduce the size of this particular image, which are, which appears to be much larger for me. And uh, uh, horizontal position, focus point picker. Okay. So. Uh, that is fine. Okay, so it is uh, it is it is used it is it has been used for uh, which focal point that I have to use. All right. Right now, I'm going to change this particular image.
okay so there will be somewhere over here uh where i can able to read this particular image else let me to click this delete option so if i okay if i click this delete option the complete block has been deleted okay all right so i think uh, this particular image is a part of this document so i have to edit it somewhere in this document option featured image okay all right we have here so i have the option called replace here so i have to click this replace then i have to use the upload option uh, to upload some images to upload some images let me to add some images which i can download from the google regarding the cricket okay so what i have it in the images part so i have some good lot of good images so right now let me to download one of the image and uh, one more thing uh, you can remember that whenever you're going to use a particular image in your website uh, that particular image should be free from copyrighted okay so it should not be like something whatever that you can able to see in this particular uh, google search uh, you can able to use it for the website not like that uh, whatever the images that we are going to use it in our website it should be having a license free uh image in our website you know so that we will be away from the copyright issues so how we can able to do that okay so right now if you want to search for some of the images uh, which are open licensed we have to choose the options uh called the tools and in this tools there will be an option called usage rights please click this usage rights option and choose the option called labeled for reuse with modification so that means we can reuse it and we can edit it okay so that is what we require okay so whenever we have we had chosen this option reuse with modification the images whichever that we receive usually will not be having an exact quality that we have in our mind uh you know usually uh whatever the images that are of high quality those images will be used for other purposes for their own websites and uh you know for the purpose of uh displaying it in displaying for the advertisement and etc okay else what we can able to do there is a website called free pick Show you this uh, website with you all. Okay, so freepick.com is the location where we can able to get a lot of images, creatives for our website at free of cost, at a better quality, and if it is required. we can able to uh, we can uh, uh, we can go for the premium version and we can purchase some of the images which we like for a particular pricing all right so i have few of the images here so cricket champion this is a good uh, image pick that i can able to use and anything else i can use some images this one looks fine so let me to use this image so what i have to do is i have to click this download option free download that's all so the file has been downloaded okay so in this file i have the jpg image so let me to uh, open this jpg image and keep it in my desktop and uh, let me to upload this file to my wordpress document now in my wordpress document i'm going to use the upload option in this upload option i'm going to choose the image that i had downloaded just recently Okay, so where this is the created uh, modified image, I think I have to go for thumbnail option. All right, this is the image. Done. 
So I had uh, uploaded that particular image and the image has been available here. So let me to choose the place here. So what is the error that it is showing here? In this block, uh, all looks fine. So let me to close this. Let me to check out the preview. So it is asking me to pick up the image one more time. I'm not sure for what reason. Let me to pick up the image for one more time. Okay, or else, uh, you know, it is taking uh, much of the time. So let us do one thing. Let's go for something else, which is already there. All right, then. So what I had did is, you know, I had uploaded a file and I had chosen a file. So this file, I have the option called alt text. Okay, so this is the part which is important for the SEO part. You will be learning on uh, why it is important and what we're going to enter in this alt text. So alt text is going to be something like, you know, uh, quick info. Okay, alt text is something, you know, when the image has not been loaded, in that case, this alt tag will be shown to the audience. Okay. Usually, it will be used for the slow networks. And right now, uh, we do not require to uh, worry about this so much because most of the networks current for the current generation they are at good uh, they are at good position right now. All right. So this alt tag I had given us quick info and the caption. It is not so important, but still, I'm going to give us something like you know, cricket world. Done. Description is not so important. Uh, that's all. Let me to choose this particular image. That's great. So I had got this image. So by clicking this block, I'll be getting the block editing option. Show block settings. All right. So which is the focus point? Let me to keep this focus point over this mobile or over this text in this mobile done okay this looks fine anyway let us use this one uh okay so this is how you know i had clicked i had uploaded an image and for this image i had provided an alt text we will learn about what is the importance of alt tag and what we are going to enter in this particular alt tag okay so right now using the wordpress we had changed an image and we had uploaded an image and we had given an alt tag for this particular image and also even we can provide a link for this particular image when someone clicks this link they will be redirected to the website what we have to do for that we have to click the option which is available as insert link and please insert the link of a website and that's all so whenever someone clicks they will be redirected okay all right so now let us come to the uh, new blog section okay so this is the option which are whatever the area that has been mentioned as plus uh, those are the new block options so what shall we have what shall we what are the options that we will be having with the new block option let us explore so when we click this add block 
So these are all the block options that are available. So the most used are the most used recent ones that we can able to use. And what are the options that are available? So right now, let me to explore, let me to show you some of the important blocks which you can use it for creating a website. So one is the classic module. So the classic module is highly useful because uh, classic module is something like, you know, a word document, whatever the data that we had entered. And if you want to upload some images, if you want to give a text with bold option, or if you want to make some editing in the something like a font category. So all those options you can able to do with this classic block option. Okay. All right. Then what we have is the heading and the star, star rating and those things you can explore whenever, it, whatever the things that you want that, that are available here, you can explore. And one thing is, you know, you can use this table option. So table option helps us to create multiple columns and in each column we can able to write something and we can use it for some images purpose. Okay. So you can use this table column for creating some uh, blocks that you can do. And what we have here is you can upload an image and you can upload a gallery. Suppose if you are planning to upload some four images and the four images uh, you want to be look, uh, you know, neatly aligned way so that you can uh, use it, you can create it with the help of this gallery and audio, of course, you know, it's a audio material that you can upload it for the website. And similarly, we have the video option that you can upload a video and you can able to use it in this website. Okay, you can explore all these options uh, when you are going to create a website with this wordpress.com. Okay, all right. And the rest of the things, it's all, it's all up to you because it is going to be a big chapter when we are creating a WordPress uh, website. It, it has a lot of tons of options. It has some plugins. We can create some plugins and, uh, you know, uh, we can completely customize the WordPress website. It's almost like creating a new website with, uh, with much of customization. So that is what, uh, you know, we can get it from the WordPress. And apart from this, WordPress uh, provides a lot of opportunities for integration and uh, automations and uh, data collection, suppose like a uh, forms that we want to do and etc. So those, those options were also available. So you can explore all these options while you are going to create a good, beautiful website using this WordPress document, WordPress website. Okay. All right. So let me to right now, I'm going to click one of the important option that is called classic block. So when I use this classic block, this classic block helped me to enter some new text in this particular uh, word document, you know, WordPress, WordPress website. So, uh, in this particular layer, if I text something like hi, uh, everyone. Okay. So I'll be having all the options like a word document. I can bold it. I can make the italic option and I can, uh, you know, something like center align. Otherwise I can able to make some, uh, you know, something these options are almost similar to whatever that we have it in the word document. You can explore. Okay. And we have the link option and we have the uh, add media option to upload an image. If you want to add an image in this particular uh, block after this, hi everyone, just you have to click this add media and click some of the image. Otherwise, you know, upload some image using the upload option. So here we have the upload image option using that upload option, just upload some images. Okay. So that is how you can able to add an image. So this image, you can make the center aligned. Uh, you know, this is uh, the center aligned. You, I think you have to use it with uh, some of the options, whichever is available here. Okay, so I think uh, this is the option that is available for center alignment for this for this image. There might be. Anyway, we have to we have to make some uh, what to say we have to make some uh, test and we have to make some uh, you know error corrections for him for uploading this you know for making this particular image to be aligned at the center. Alignment. I have an option here. Let me to choose the center option. Then also it is showing in the. Okay, not a problem. So we might not able to spend a lot of time on uh, checking out how to bring this particular image to the center and how to make it aligned and etc. We will see those things later on. So right now, you know, uh, this I had explained to you about a block. This block is, uh, you know, something about uh, creating a. Uh, complete customized text and images into the website and using this you know you can able to uh, write it something like a word document all right done so after this after this what are the other elements which are important for the seo for this seo purpose the url slug is important Okay, so since you know this is the website tanigaraj two one four zero etc etc dot wordpress dot com, so this is the WordPress you know website that uh, 
currently, which I already have as a subdomain with WordPress. So this slug is something like you know the one words that uh, the URL which is going to which is going to be available after this WordPress.com slash. Okay, so I will show you once after I had created this website. So here you can able to notice this is the website name etc etc dot wordpress dot com slash cricket fans page. Suppose if you have a domain, then instead of this tiny garage two 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 etc 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 dot com, you'll be having a domain name. For an example, if you have the domain name called uh, football dot com football dot com slash cricket fans page. Okay, so why it is so important? As I had uh, you know, uh, if you, I might already told you in the one day workshop or something, you know, URL slug is the place where we will be placing the keywords for the SEO optimization process. Okay, so right now uh, when I'm targeting a keyword, the keyword uh, keyword is called cricket fans. Okay, so I'm I'm targeting a keyword for uh, people who are searching for cricket fans. The same keyword I'll be implementing in this slide. Okay, so we will be exploring all those things. So what is the keyword that I have to use it in this URL slug in the SEO chapter? Right now, let us just as uh, just understand what are the options that WordPress is providing us uh, to create a website. So one thing is URL slug that I can able to create. Okay, one is URL slug that I can able to create, and then apart from this, I'll be having uh, much of other options. Okay, and uh, uh, one more thing is, uh, you know, I think uh, whatever the data that we are going to provide it here, uh, it will be entered in the H1 tag, I believe. So let us explore uh, this website once after we had published it. So let us go for the publish option. I had given the publish option now. So once I had given this publish, this page will be immediately available for the live audience. So I had given the publish. So this page will be live. So I have this page here. So I can able to click this uh, view option to check out uh, what is this page actually. Okay. So here uh, you can able to see this cricket fans is a slug that I had provided in the web page as well as this cricket fans page is the title which has been taken and has been used for the title as well. Okay. All right. So cricket fans page has been taken. It has been used in the title. And this cricket fans page will be provided with the default tag. And that tag is going to be H1 tag. Okay. So whatever that, uh, you know, usually required for the SEO, those will be default available with the uh, WordPress document. But the one key important thing is, uh, in all, even though whatever the important keys that are available, required for a particular page were available in this H1 tag, we should be clear what is the word that we have to deploy inside this title tag, inside this H1 tag. Okay, so in such a way that you know we can we we will be much clear on uh, it is not like much clear so you know that is what highly essential because we are being an SEO expert we will be, we should know what is the keyword that we have to deploy in this H1 tag. Okay, right now let us see what is there in the website. I'm sorry, what is there in the images? Right now I had clicked this images and I'm going for the inspect option. So in this image. So there are uh, two things which are important. One is the image file name. Here the image file name is 6362-1.jpg and uh, this should not, be, should not be like this. If you are optimizing for the keyword cricket fans, it should be something like, you know, fans of cricket or cricket ball. Okay, something relevant to the uh, keyword that we are optimizing for. And the next important thing is alt tag. So in this alt tag right now, it has been mentioned as WP image 115. Okay. Uh, let me do have a cross check whether it is the same alt tag. Yes. So right, right now the alt class has been provided as WP iPhone image iPhone 115. But this should not be like this. We should be using, uh, you know, alt tag in such a way that, you know, we will be showing the Google that we are targeting this keyword. For an example, we, what we can able to provide, we can able to provide ball with bat because those are related to the cricket. Okay, we will be seeing uh, in detail about what keyword that we are going to deploy in this alt tag, in this image file name, in the URL, in the title, and in the meta description. So all those chapters, we will be reading uh, those details uh, on the SEO chapter while we are going to read on uh, how to how to you know make a particular website optimized for the search engine optimization.
all right uh, i believe this is good enough uh, for you all for today you know we had what are the things that we had explored we explored explored about how to create a website using the wordpress.com and we had explored about how to upload an image and how to provide a hyperlink and how to provide an alt tag for an image and you know what are the page block options and uh, how to change this url slug and we had uh, you know checked out checked uh, we had we had explored some more details like how to add a new block and you know what are the blocks that are available in wordpress for an overall uh, average idea and from this location you know you can able to take up yourself forward and explore on the all explore on the complete options that are available on wordpress wordpress can able to wordpress can able to provide us a good website which would cost 15000 20000 rupees at free of cost okay by just dragging and dropping and making some proper correction and spending our time in learning this wordpress you can able to make a professional website which a hard coded designer creates uh, for a cost of 15000 just by using this wordpress okay so you can take it from here and you can explore this wordpress.com and what are the options that are available and you can create some beautiful website uh, for your own uh, business and after that we will see how to map up the map the domain name for this particular uh, hosting account which we had created in wordpress and that's all so the website is ready all right that's great that's great okay so for the tomorrow session let us see the details on what are the seo tags that are required uh what is it uh, why it is uh, uh, why uh, seo is an important factor uh what are the advantages of the seo factor so today you know we had planned for two so we had planned for two things one is what is seo and how to create a website but today we had covered only about how to create a website and uh, we had explored about you know hosting account and how to create a, a facebook you know for wordpress page and etc etc and tomorrow we are going to see all the details on seo and uh, importance of seo and etc okay all right uh thank you very much so if you have any quick questions you can ask me now uh okay so samir is there fine samir any questions or shall we wind up for today and uh, shall we meet tomorrow okay then fine thank you very much samir have a have a great uh, great day i mean have a, a great night good night